The Bulldogs, though, had little time to celebrate because they were right back on a big stage, this time in its region opener. Hartzell puts a 20-game win streak on the line tonight at Kelly Town Stadium. Great ceremony to start things off. They dedicate the Hartsfield Field to Coach Billy Siegler, 1958 to 1967. Great to have that dedication to get things started in a tremendous football game. First play of the game, Raheem Ward. This is an opening statement. He won the HCC game ball last week. You see why. Takes it to the house. Takes the plunge, 7-0 Bulldogs. Hartsville answers right back. Matt Lynch to Daquan Benjamin. Sheds the tackle. Benjamin ties the game up at seven apiece. We had a good old fashioned shootout here in the first quarter. London Johnson to Andre Underwood. Great maneuvering by Underwood. He escapes defenders. He's in the zone, 13-7 Marlboro. And you knew two great teams with so many outstanding, talented players. They would step on the big Friday night stage. On the ensuing kickoff, Dantes Rogers going to give Hartsville some prime field position inside the 20. It would lead to this, Aaron Dudley. 14-13, Hartzell's got the lead. Man, the Red Foxes would force the Bulldogs to punt. And a big storyline in this game, Brian Rivers gonna go down hard here. Injured knee, did not return to the game. Hartzell has to press on. Lynch to Daquan Benjamin. First down, move the chains. 22 seconds to go now in the first half. Lynch to Benjamin. Great grab. Touchdown Foxes, 21-13 Hartsville at the half. Third quarter action now. We're gonna see London Johnson with the give to Fred Davis. Davis sheds tackles. He's in the zone, 27-20. It's a seven point Hartsville lead at this point. Then, Johnson to Jamal Stanton, back from injury, feeling good. Jamal Stanton, just outside the 10 yard line. And now Marlboro looking for the equalizer. Johnson scrambles. Raheem Ward's got it. We're tied up at 27 apiece. What a football game in Hartsville tonight. The Bulldogs defense would force Hartsville to punt, but here's Daquan Reddick. Big time sack on third and 23. The Bulldogs would then have to punt it away. They get it back with less than a minute. Johnson picked off by Shy Phillips. And Phillips is looking to take it to the house. But finally, he is brought down. And we go to overtime, tied at 27 apiece. In OT, Marlboro County gets it first. Look at that Hartsville defense. Huge stuff, no points for the Bulldogs. And that sets the stage for Jones Tinsley. The big stop there by the D, and here's Jones Tinsley for the win. Does it have enough? Ooh, by a whisker. Wow. Jones Tinsley, big man on campus. Oh, what a football game. Hartsville wins it in OT, 30 to 27. What a battle between two tremendous squads. The Hartsville win streak is now 21, and our Andrew Prue has more from Kellytown Stadium. Hartsville Red Fox defense entered tonight's contest allowing a measly 2.6 points per game. And despite allowing a season high 27 points tonight against the Marble County Bulldogs, the Red Foxes still found a way to win, thanks in large to first-year kicker Jones Tinsley. I mean, I've been working for this about two years. Hey, this is what I've been you. looking for, waiting for. Little young boys, they hung in there, and you know, defense, it was hard to stop LJ all night long. He's just such a gifted player, and they made a lot of plays, but boy, they made some when that had to happen, and uh, just so proud of our kids right now. And you know, Jones is his first year kicking, so it's pretty amazing for him. The Hartsville Red Foxes will look to continue this winning streak next week as they go on the road against Crestwood, while the Marble County Bulldogs will look to rebound at home against Lakewood. Reporting for the end zone, Andrew Prue, WPDE Sports.